Parker. Greetings, my name is Emily and I'm with uh, Yesterday's Stash. Uh, I am here to show you another journal. Um, this particular journal, uh, all of my journals have a flavor of Jane Austen and England in them. This particular one, I found this really neat kind of 3D top. You can get these at old, you know, like postcard stores or, or places that sell and it's a 3D kind of, uh, of, of look. I've preserved it by putting Mod Podge and a Liquitex uh, spray on it. Um, I recently was in England, in London, and I was able to look for some fabric that would be interesting to put in junk journals. And this fabric, this these little uh, flowers here came from a big piece of fabric. Now the fabric was about 50, dollars a yard so I got about an eighth of a yard and it was enough to be able to cut out a whole bunch of these that I could use in my journals. I have inherited a huge amount of uh, lace and uh, then I've been collecting things over the years and uh, even though I have been making junk journals for, for uh, around five years I am new to the Etsy and uh, YouTube community. So to open this up, just to let you know that this uh, journal has um, 61, no, 53 pages. Um, and then the front and back would make it 106. And 60 of the pages are writing pages. But I have like this, you know, is what, what I call a short page. I have several short pages in there uh, so that you can write on different... Um, in different sizes and this is a, a piece of naga hide or that you can buy I I shop at a store called scrap exchange which has any number of different home goods from people in the local area and these these came from from um, where you want to upholster your furniture and they're those thick books that have all different kinds of upholstery in them and that's what that is and this is Theodosa Square I absolutely love the Theodosa Square book. The only problem with it is that the um, that they're one one sided, and I usually like to work with the two sided papers, uh, and they're they're thicker, you know. Anyway, so moving along, uh, started out with um, a a little pocket right here that you can just throw things in um, some tags that have, I'm not quite sure where these tags came from, but uh, they, uh, the, this also has this little flower here, and what I've done is I take pieces of, um, uh, you know, old doilies or old table covers that you can find, and I cut into them, and for, for instance, in this particular one, they have little shapes like this that I'll be able to, to cut out and use in different ways. This flower is from one of those. This is um, a little article from um, The Last of the Barons and it was published in 1902 by Scribner and Sons. So I have a lot a huge collection of old books from the old home place. So I've cut out several and as mu much as I can fit into one you could use them for pockets, for tuck spot spaces, for and uh, some of them have pictures in them so this doesn't so I'm sure that somewhere throughout I have put paper that does have uh, pictures in it. Pocket right here with some extra here's another one it's from the Cosmopolitan magazine 1892 and this one does have uh, some photos in it. Uh, so it's just real interesting reading from magazines of time gone by that were published uh, right at the turn of the century or, or earlier. Uh, and just really um, uh, interesting to read, and then take the papers and do what you have, whatever you want with them. Moving along, uh, Jane Austen has a lot of silhouettes. Again, this is Theodosa Square. This particular paper came from um, one of my favorite packets, is the Dear Jane collection of papers, and I've used it in a lot, but I've almost used it up but it's just got beautiful, beautiful paper in it. I uh, do try to put some little trinkets and keys or, or charms wherever. 
Uh, this paper is from Deli Girl. This is from um, Dreams Etc. These are the short pages um, at the Scrap Exchange where I go. You can get any kind of paper you want. I call this Cambridge paper because it usually comes in a notebook and it's, uh, you know, an old time kind of an Excel sheet. Uh, this little charm is of the Eiffel Tower. Um, lots of little, this comes from Zazzle. Uh, they have some excellent little sticker things. This is from the Dear Jane collection. Um, this is, the Scrap Exchange has tons of these artist trading cards or ATC cards. And I, I just am so enamored by them. Um, it tells where they, um, what the name of it is. She just called it Flora. And then she actually gives her, her the date that she did it. And um, it's just really interesting to look at the different formats. This is a tea bag that I tea stain. I ordered, and I just didn't realize this is what they would come like. I ordered a, a, a huge quantity of these and um, they are a little hard to go into, so especially if you do anything on the outside. Uh, so what I don't, don't have that this opens, but I just made a little collage there. This is from an old big book called Artists of the, um, I think it was published in 1902, and it has all kinds of, uh, the, uh, of uh, artwork. This one is Luncheon Under the Trees and it shows a little bit about it. It says that it was that this person was an exhibitor at the Paris Universal Exposition in 1889 so it just has really a little article about it on the back that would be interesting reading for you. On the other side of this is um, a uh, card uh, that you can just in the envelope little card set and a piece of ephemera uh, from the Austin. It is a truth universally known. I think we are, all know that particular particular one. This is another pocket. This has got um, the preservation of wildflowers. It's an article uh, written for the ladies book, um, the Godies ladies book. Um, and it's just really interesting reading on on how to preserve flowers in time gone by. This is a notes. I like to make these little notebooks. I have used the yellow beeswax that I have uh, made little tags with the yellow beeswax with of all of Jane Austen's books. Um, just a little open space here. A handmade flower using tissue paper from Zazzle. Um, some tags. This is a postcard that uh, um, I found that was printed in England and it is actually a um, the kitchen of Shakespeare's birthplace in Stratford-on-Avon of which we were there two years ago but I didn't see any postcards but this is an old one from there. This is a Zazzle postcard from Jane Austen that you can uh, take and use or cut up or any of these that you can take uh, and do different things with. This is another one of those articles. It's called Fruit Cellars in Venice. Beautiful, you know, um, black and white. Uh, these right here are more from um, Deli Girl and Dreams Etc. Another article here. This is a Whittier, a John, John um, Whittier. Let's see, what's his name? John Greenleaf Whittier, and it's from Hearst, a publisher, and it, this book was published in 1900. Lots of books, lots of lace in my collection. More short pages. This is actually an old building in England called the Bell Inn. It's one of the oldest um, inns uh, in, uh, in England. It, maybe it says it dates back to 1420. Uh, so I love to, to, to search for and study and look at the old buildings of England. This particular tag came from, it's called Postal Insectia, and it is, um, it's called the Flora and Fauna Poster. Can't tell exactly where it's from. 
copyright 1996 Helen Butterfield. It tells a little bit about her and has a lot of those in it. This is just a little fun collage that I put together of Jane Austen. And these are actually um, tattoos. You can buy tattoos and actually put them on, uh, on paper if you don't want to put them on yourself. How to be beautiful. This is an old ad and I actually took some fabric and covered and made, um, uh, I just thought that was the neatest uh, advertisement here. And then this is an old advertisement from one of the old magazines. The old magazines that I have are all torn up and um, have been through the mill because they are so old. Here's an example of the Century Magazine uh, from 1893. And in the back, they have tons of different advertisements that I can uh, use as uh, tuck spots. This is a bookmark and it's got a little angel charm. Um, more advertisements. Um, I really enjoy making pockets out of uh, this paper from, this is an old book, uh, 1825, and as you can see it is in, is in total shambles, but what it is is it is uh, the Reverend John Bennett uh, writing uh, letters to a young lady, and so I've taken a lot of these and turned them into uh, pockets, but I also took some and turned them into articles. So what I have done right here is I've taken the article and laminated on the front and the back because the pages are so old, and I've told you what it is, the name of the book that it came from, and I've included a four-leaf clover for good luck. So this is another just piece of stationery that you can take in the envelope and do, what, what, do some things to it. Um, more article. This is actually a, um, it is gratifying to note among the greatest achievement of American woman, so forth and so on. So it's just an interesting little paragraph. More handmade flowers. I love to make handmade flowers. It's been the year just making handmade flowers. A lot of sewing, a lot of lace in here. Uh, this is a Bargello envelope. Found an old book of Bargello patterns that were just beautiful. Uh, so I had to take them and turn them into something. And at the back of all my books I try to have just extras. Uh, I have 500 of these. So I certainly have um, enough to share. So I try to include something in every journal. Well, that concludes this. The uh, journal will be up on my Etsy store, um, uh, and it's going to be called Pink, so it's the Pink Junk Journal. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.